popular summer activity, young people jumping into the water at rock quarries. It can be an exhilarating thrill, but it can also be deadly, not only from the dangerous dives, but also from what lies beneath the water. It's a great American summer pastime. Teens jumping into the inviting waters of a quarry. Thousands of quarries exist across the USA, but there's something important you need to know about quarries. They can be death traps. This is 19-year-old Jonathan Bash jumping into Martins Creek Quarry in Pennsylvania. He looked like he was having a great time. But then, tragedy struck. John decided he wanted to swim across the water. Within five minutes, they said, um, Jonathan screamed for help. And he came up three times, and he went back down. John's mom, Sally, still can't believe her son is gone. She's kept his room exactly as it was on the day he died. The year anniversary is coming up in a few weeks. The shirt he was wearing when he went down. Then Sally found out that her son was the second young man to die in the quarry that year. Something was very wrong, she decided. Now she's on a crusade to tell the world about the dangers of swimming in quarries. At this quarry in Wisconsin, 19 people have died since 1979. Yes, 19. Most people associate quarry dangers with this. Jumping into water from a high position. Scenes like this are all over YouTube. But there's also the danger of what lies beneath. Debris like abandoned construction equipment. That's a bulldozer. We found other dangers at this quarry in New Jersey, where the water can go from two feet deep to 60 feet deep with no warning. Inside Edition producer Alicia Powers got a demonstration. The quarry is so dangerous, she had to be attached to safety equipment. All right, are you sure you're going to be able to get me out? Look, she's in water up to her waist. Then, the big drop. <laughs> There's also the extreme temperatures to consider. Quarry water can get to be unusually cold just below the warm surface. We were on the surface on a 95 degree day in the sun, and within seconds you're now in... 45 degree water. Then there's this. Most quarries are in remote locations, so you may not get speedy assistance if you find yourself in an emergency. So while it looks like fun and a great way to beat the heat, think twice before you swim in your local quarry. Despite that mother's warning, sadly, just last week, another young person lost their life in the same quarry where her son died. Concerns around the world for the Pope after he fell while saying mass. The pontiff's going to be okay. But it's a reminder for people everywhere that grandparents and other old folks in their lives can face grave consequences in a fall. However, there are some things you can do to keep your loved ones safe. The Pope's very public fall is highlighting a real danger facing older people. The Pope is 79 and wasn't seriously injured when he missed a step at an outdoor mass in Poland. Falling down is the curse of aging. Consider this scary fact. The average person over 65 falls down at least once a year. Look at these videos taken at an assisted living facility. A scary 227 falls were recorded over three years. 24% of them fell just walking, and 12% were simply trying to sit down. But there's hope. At the VA hospital in Tampa, Veterans are being taught the proper way to fall and to get up safely. Put your arm forward. Tommy McNeil teaches fall prevention. He says when you're young, you can instinctively reach out to stop a fall with our hands. But as our bones weaken with age, it's better to drop and roll. As you're falling, you'll try to lower your center. You don't you'll try to reach out and stop yourself with your hands or knees. Also, take your time getting up. You could be more hurt than you realize. Slowly move to your hands and knees. I need for you to crawl. Make sure you aren't dizzy. Then crawl towards support like a chair that won't slip out from under you. The Pope was lucky enough to be surrounded by priests who rushed to help him up. But if you're alone, it's a good idea to know exactly what to do to prevent serious injury. When we come